So you want to do C++ programming and have chosen to do it in VS Code. Not a bad option, as VS Code is one of, if not the most popular IDE in the world. But as it by default is only a text editor, it can be a little tricky to figure out how to set it up for your needs. This video aims to explain everything you need to know to quickly get set up with VS Code for programming C++, including CMake support for all three major platforms, Windows, Linux and macOS. So let's talk about what we would need in a C++ IDE. Bear in mind that these are just my requirements and would be different for others, but I feel like they do represent quite well what a beginner would also need. First requirement would be syntax highlighting, so we can easily get an overview of our code and see the difference between a class, variable, function, etc. Next is intelligence, also sometimes referred to as code completion, so we can very easily look at a class or function and see what methods it contain, or variables, or what input parameters it has. After that is proper support for CMake. CMake is a very important tool for C++ and might as well make sense in the beginning to have it set up and working with that. Next up is easy compiling the act of turning your C++ code into an actual runnable program. While you technically can just open up a terminal and write in the commands for compiling a program, it can be quite tedious and I would want just a hotkey or button to quickly get that done. And lastly, some kind of code debugger so that I can make breakpoints and easily see what's going on in my code to, for example, locate a bug or similar. Before we begin actually setting up VS Code, we need to make sure we have a few requirements fulfilled first. Naturally, first off, having VS Code installed. In case you haven't, here is a link for that. Second of all, some kind of compiler installed, which is what actually turns your C++ code into a runnable program. If you are on Linux, the GCC compiler should be installed by default, but if not, open up a terminal and type in the command you can see here. If you are on Windows, the easiest way is using the Microsoft Visual Studio compiler. You get this by downloading Visual Studio like normal and make sure that you select desktop development with C++ during the installation. On Mac, the easiest approach seems to be to get the Clang compiler through Xcode by opening a terminal and typing in this command. Lastly, we need to make sure CMake is installed in our system. In Linux, that can be done by using the command you see here in the terminal. In Windows, it can be done by following the link you see on screen now and downloading through the installer. And on macOS, it can be done through the terminal by typing in the command you see here. VS Code is designed such that we can greatly expand the capabilities of the text editor by using extensions. And it just so happens that the extension called C slash C++ extension pack deals with all of our requirements. What this pack actually does is download four other extensions. The ones called C slash C++, another one called C slash C++ themes, one called CMake, and one called CMake tools. The C slash C++ extension and the C slash C++ themes extension handles our first two requirements, providing syntax highlighting and intelligence. So if you now, for example, try to create a class, you should see everything gets highlighted correctly. And you try to use that class in another file, you should also see that appears correctly through code completion. If for some reason that is not the case, try clicking Control Shift P on your keyboard this allows you to enter commands and type rescan workspace. This forces the extension to look through all the files again and should in most cases solve the issue. Otherwise, quickly do a restart of VS Code and that should fix the issue. Now, technically with this extension, we are also able to set up compiling, but I would actually recommend we do this a different way. When creating C++ projects, a very important tool is CMake, and it's a tool you are basically guaranteed to encounter throughout your C++ journey. 
Explaining what exactly C++ is, is a video in itself, <laughs> but to explain it simply, CMake is a sort of programming language we can use to tell our C++ code how we should get turned into, for example, executables or libraries or similar. With the CMake tools extension installed, we can click Control shift p type Quick Start. First, it will ask you which compiler to use. If you are on Linux, you should see a GCC compiler. If you are on Windows, you should see a MSCV compiler. And on macOS, you should see a Clang compiler, if you did it the same way as I explained at the beginning. Give our project a name, specify if it's C or C++, and specify if it's a library or an executable. This creates a file called cmakelist.txt, which the program CMake uses to create your program in the end. Normally, when using CMake, you would need to go to the terminal and enter a number of commands. However, with the CMake tool installed, we can literally just click this button here. VS Code should find the CMake lists and call the compiler, and everything should, if set up correctly, just work. Or alternatively, just click Shift F5, and it should also build your project and compile your executable. And with this, that fulfills another one of the requirements, easy compiling. And if you for some reason need to make changes to how CMake is used for compiling, you can go to this button here and do changes, for example, change the compiler or whether it's debug or release and similar. Normally when I create a project, I do like to create an include folder and a source folder like shown here. And to configure your CMake list to work with that, just add the include directories as shown here. And the CPP files, you just have to add next to the add executable main.cpp as shown here. The last of our requirements left is to add debugging. So we can, for example, add a breakpoint like seen here and run our program in debug mode and see what is happening to the variables. Luckily for us, these extensions also give us access to what they refer to as quick debugging, meaning that in VS Code, when we have a project, we can click on this little icon down here or Control F5 and it will do debugging instead. So if we create an integer five and do a breakpoint here, we perform quick debugging. You'll see it'll stop and we can see our local variables. Of course, quick debugging is not as good as proper debugging, but for most projects, especially as a beginner you could do, it should definitely be sufficient. And with that, I think that was everything there is to say to get started with programming C++ in VS Code. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time.